So this time, uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to start doing any uh, actual playing yet, but I'm joined by Chris Cool from MTGO Academy, and we're just going to well, talk like we normally do when he berates me about how horrible my decks are. <laughs> the problem is that I'm flying out in uh, essentially 12 hours, and I haven't even gotten ready for the day yet, which is funny because the day's ending and I'm supposed to sleep before I fly out. Yeah, these guys can see what time it is. Actually, maybe they can't. Oh, yeah, they I, probably can. Yeah, you can see it on Moto. Yeah, definitely. So not only have I been a slob today, I, I'm still not packed to go, and I'm pretty sure that if I don't do the dishes and take out the trash, I'll have a bug infestation when I come back, so oh, I need God. to do that, too. No, it, it takes longer than you'd think, because I guarantee you we have not taken out the trash and not done the dishes uh, more than you have, and we don't have a bug infestation. You no, live the room like... in the kitchen does kind of smell like sweet <laughs> peanut butter that's been rotting in the sink, because the spoons, when I eat peanut butter out of the jar, I just end up... Throwing, Stop it, I'm trying to eat dinner. <laughs> I end up throwing the, all the spoons in the same, like, standing water, essentially. And so it kind of smells, and I don't notice it until I get back home. Well, AJ. I, I don't notice it right now. Cool. Uh, so, what do you think Google has to say? What do I think Google has to say about how long it takes for a bug infestation? You have to have a bug. Somerville Ave... No, so you're telling everybody who's watching where I live? There's like 10 Somerville Aves. Because yeah, and Somerville Ave is so long, no one will be able to find me anyway. Look for the Burger King spoiler. <laughs> um, Look for the target. I'm definitely drinking right now, too. 5% alcohol by volume? You could have fooled me. I'm fucking tanked. Mm. I'm drinking 5.5%. So I found that the, the wine store that is by Home Depot gets the specialty beers from Cigar City, which yeah. is like a big uh, regional brewery in Tampa. And they order a ton of it, and no one knows about it. So this is the <laughs> so you February get it all to yourself? Uh, I considered going there and buying six four-packs today. <laughs> Of the same thing, just so I would have it for a long time, but yeah, I didn't do it. Make sure you get to keep that shit. Well, I was afraid that I would drink, like, too much to get anything done. What do you I... think about Frenax, God of the Whatever, in Classic? Uh, it's not a wizard. It's a god. I, I mean, that, that's not god a point damn in its it, favor. That's I don't think that good. it's playable. Yeah, it doesn't even do anything interesting. Okay, are you looking here? It's like a bad Thassa. Hold on, I'm trying to figure out something that's integral to our conversation. Integral to our company? No, our conversation. Oh, by the way, at MTGO Academy, I figured out that my microphone was broken. Chris, you already know where this is going. <laughs> like, so, normally when we have our conference calls, most of us mute so to not create background noise during our conversations. And I either do that using the button on Skype that mutes, uh, or I use the manual button on the microphone that mutes it. Well, it turns out that the button on the mic that mutes it wasn't actually working to mute it. It was just on all the time. <laughs> and Chris noticed. I found this out when Chris just goes, someone keep farting? <laughs> <laughs> and it was definitely me. Like, I thought I was being really sly. Like, I was, like, muting myself. 1,400 miles difference, AJ. Do you think the bugs maybe behave a little bit differently out there in Massachusetts than they do in Florida? What the fuck are you talking about? 1,400 miles to what? That's how, from that's Sarasota how far Flight 370 was to, from Perth. <laughs> to Somerville. Look at these two guys. Which of these two would win in a fight? If it rains heavily, ants just will appear in one room in the house for a day. They and then they all appear. die from the poison. Look yeah, at the they crawl... Do you know Peter yeah, that guy's Wizard got... was when Donatello Giancolo was trying to draw Mark Rosewater's father and then put a <laughs> bunch of earrings and gauges in his ears? Like, Same. uh, just make him look period. Uh... Look, <laughs> look at the books on that bookshelf. The bookshelf is actually curved downward. What is the, or what is the continent? It's like Atuku? What is it? 
Uh, otaku? Wait, no. Uh, oh, <laughs> you mean the one that like come out? Search for Juggernaut. On? Yeah, search for Juggernaut so we can see the Juggernaut. It has the continent name in front of it. Otarian. That's right, isn't it? So it's our Otaria. We're not talking about Forex yeah, yeah. Juggernaut. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah, it's Otaria. Look, look at this. I think. Oh shit! Look at this guy. I'm surprised the battery company didn't sue them. <laughs> Hang on, and just just for shits and giggles. Oh, fuck. I'm not going to make the noise. Make a noise. <laughs> I can't even remember what it sounds like. It has like a robot component to it. <laughs> that's that's what this guy in the middle is trying to make that noise, but he can't because he's got uh, this hose into his nose, and the suit is blocking him from making that noise. <laughs> Look at his arm. This guy seriously looks like a, a mid-level boss from like Sonic the Hedgehog. Dreamcast era. <laughs> That's just because he's got the Doctor Robotnik mask thing going on. Look at, look at this guy over here. Look at his teeth. He looks like he has Brachiosaurus teeth. Can one of these guys really have be crying in this mask? Like little, <laughs> like, what's this called? What's the word for like the imprint that a publishing company puts on there? I don't know. What the fuck? It's called Water Colophon. Park? Oh. <laughs> I didn't even know that was a word until now, and I still am not sure if I know it's a word. We got a Vendillion click. I don't like these three. They're, Vendillion they're click so is good. Oh, I thought you meant the three Vendillion clicks in your deck. I was going to say this is the only good card in your deck. Well, there's this. <laughs> when it's blown up, it looks even better. Mm. Find that the other art. Nice haircut, Void Mage. I'm excited for this. This is a respectable. Oh, almost just choked. This is why people aren't supposed to eat when they record. Yeah. Oh, what the hell? Didn't I just do? Oh, I unclicked show all versions. Goddamn. You just. Or no, no, you unclicked my cards. Is no, that what did. I did? I don't know. I don't what really I did. know. I don't really give a shit. <laughs> Whoa, AJ. <laughs> Let's look at the other Void Mage prodigies. Oh, I got this pink and blue ball coming out of my crotch. <laughs> oh! uh, this is the one I, I had. They have a cod piece subplot in a Metalocalypse episode that looks something like Kai. Like, all the characters are just making that motion that Kai is making. Do you, and who do you think this is? Is this Gabe Walls? Maybe playing Hearthstone. Oh, this is a card we need to play in Classic. I I want to play this card, but I know that you don't care about it because it's just a delinquent combo card. No, no, I actually like this card. I like delinquent combo cards, just not delinquent combo decks. Look, oh, we got another I've... fish with breasts. <laughs> I have another... I'm not sure what Whoa. this is, but it has breasts, I think. Maybe three or four. I feel like I shouldn't be looking at this. Um, so, there's... A city, Palmetto, close to where I live. Yeah. Chris and we have, Florida, in case we have Palmetto bugs, which are just cockroaches with a fancy name. Palmetto <laughs> so, bugs? So people can talk about them without calling them cockroaches, I guess. And like, oh, we've got the Palmettos. Oh, the, yeah, the, I, they had a couple Palmetto bugs last season, but it's no big deal. God, this guy? This guy sucks compared to Void Mage Prodigy. I know. He's not even throwing a single thing. <laughs> and it looks like he has a headache. He he does what I do and I'm trying to play classic. <laughs> I and thought you were going to say I use mean the this guy, this guy down here. <laughs> In the reflection. Who he's like mind seeving Harry Potter style. Oh god, I forgot about this guy. Can we play him? I don't know, but I feel like rice almost came out of my nose. Uh, this, guy, this guy combos with a, with a storm tide leviathan. Maybe I don't even <laughs> I don't remember how that even works. I don't think it combos with that at all. And War Barge, I used to play that. I had a couple packs of the dark back in the day. Okay, I'm gonna stop looking through these crappy cards. So comment on this deck. This is I think the worst Wizards build I have that is designed to take advantage of this horrible card and this card that's probably not good enough. And again, Can you who play do you think like... out of these two would win in a fight? Uh, based on the artwork. Yeah. Probably the guy that has blades coming out of the back of his head. Whoa. Vincer really... looks like Garrick. I know. I've actually thought that, too. He's got this weird mask on. 
Yeah, they he's got the Garrick super mask. handsome like Gideon. This guy they didn't have to make super handsome. I don't think that's a blade coming out of the back of his head. I think that's just like flaccid fin. Which incidentally is my uh, nickname at the S and M club. Um, I'm confused about what's happening here, but it looks like at least two people's heads are swish. Anyway, you um, think that guy's a bird or a man? I th so I've been wondering about this. I think he's a man that just has like a piece of something flying in front of his face. <laughs> <laughs> it's <laughs> for a card as prominent in the history of magic as misdirection. It has very confusing artwork. Yeah, I agree. Like when they were, will, like the traditional Force of Will art is at least just someone getting angry. When they were making deflection Force of Will, you you know that they were aware it was going to be a playable card. Yeah, but they chose Apollo Parente art that had looks like a waterfront bouncer's head flying over it. This looks like. Maybe this was actually the art for head games, and then they're like, "Let's just move it up <laughs> a couple punny. blocks." See, I feel like this is this is uh, concept art that was recreated, taken from the the Sega Genesis video game Dynamite Heady. God, why are you playing so many Sega Genesis games I these played days? That. This lady's bald. This lady reminds me of the Borg. Um, that would be aw awfully awkward to walk around with that outfit everywhere. She kind of like reminds me of originally a legend that they decided to just print as a tutu. <laughs> this was going to be Grand Arbiter Augustine. Mm -hmm. See, to me, it kind of looks like a brat doll. Yeah. But uh, maybe it's just the the expression of the face. Whoa, that looks like Alien. I know. This looks like total Alien. This, on the other hand, I actually heard that, uh, that this is what inspired the movie Avatar. <laughs> <laughs> okay. For some reason... That just reminds me of Mass Effect, even though I don't know anything about it. That's because there are blue lady aliens in Mass Effect. But they oh, yeah. look a little less steampunk than this lady does. So, as far as this deck goes, uh, I feel like it has almost nothing going for it. Yeah. It, it can't handle any permanent. Well, you have one swords. Except legendary creatures. Like, maybe... Tension Sphere would be good in this. Got it on the board. Uh -huh. Yeah, this deck sucks. Alright. Here's the uh, better version. Basically, I decided to cut the bad cards. <laughs> oh no, AJ. Seriously? What do you mean? You're running Pain Seers over Dark Confidants. Fuck yeah. This doesn't even have Patron Wizard in it. Right, it's it's fine. Well, this is a 2-2, two -two, and yeah. you can tap it with this if you don't want to attack with it. Not, o not <laughs> only... Combos. Not only is Pain, or is Dark Confidant already something you have to untap with to start getting your advantage from, <laughs> you've decided to make you have to untap with it, attack with it, have it survive combat, and then untap with it again. No, no, you don't have to attack with it. You can just tap it with Stormscape Apprentice. Well, that's the best card in this deck, next to Mental Misstep, which is in the wizard. Uh, I'm not so sure about it. I think the Trinket Mage plan is just better, though. I'm not convinced that four spell setter sprites should be in any of these decks, by the way. These, I'm that's thinking, one like, of the primary experiments of the deck. Like, oh, the, to this, see if... Yeah. If this card sucks, that opens up a bunch of slots, and then I think you have to play Meddling Mage in the main... I commented last night on this guy's fingernails. Wizards never cut their fingernails. It's actually um, something that they figured out why Chris Pecula was doing so well at competitive magic. And even though they didn't feel like they should give him like a prominent... Um, why can I not think? Yeah, what are you talking about? Even though he shouldn't be prominently featured in the the promo, which is really weird because they made that new Kai promo for uh, yeah. Void Mage Prodigy. Yeah. It's probably it probably has something to do with like they felt like Void Mage Prodigy sucked, so they should give him another chance at having artwork that wasn't embarrassing. Yeah. Where Meddling Mage was somewhat playable, so they're like, Haha, we'll print whoever we want, even a woman of a different ethnicity. Meddling Mage is exactly how playable of a card I would want named after me. Or pick, depicting me. 
I think that your card would do something like it would put cards into the graveyard. Just all of them. Well, so, like something about pooping. Well, Mirror Mad Phantasm is the card that I think close most closely approximates me in real life. <laughs> <laughs> I wish this guy were good. It's too bad. Uh, why is my reflection staring at me when I'm not looking at it? <laughs> I bet he's not wondering that because he can't even see it. All right. So uh, what do you think about this list? If you're playing black, I don't understand why you're not playing some amount of discard, which then makes meddling mage immediately better. That's true. You'd play, like, Thoughtseize. Maybe you just run the Ixlids in the board. There's also, like... Like... If, if you're going to go the discard route, maybe you can play, like... Uh, I don't know, though, because once you start playing too much discard, you get into this really disgusting situation. Mm -hmm. Where you draw discard spells after like, the first couple turns. Is this, a, is this a deck that wants, like, a Skull... I really like the Trinket Mage package. That's the thing. Um... Hmm. So the question then is, what cogs are worth getting? Yeah, and I think a ball therapy is just nuts. So maybe you cut these things. Maybe you just say screw dark confidant. Like it's not that good. It's it's a weird card. Like I feel like you want to attack with it if you can, and then just yeah. let it die in combat because. If you lose the tempo by not attacking with it, then you're probably just you shouldn't even be game. playing it. Yeah. Um, but trinket mage, I tend to find is actually a decent card draw. Like I could cut these confidants, put in like three thought seas or something, and then you're running fewer creatures, but it seems fine. I like the one mirror entity, but I'm not sure if it's good. Maybe a third Vendillion is just better. Um, or a fifth trinket mage. <laughs> a treasure mage. Yeah. Um, oh man, I came up with some, you know what Treasure Mage can find in modern? Salvage Titan. Six, six, six. So now you just have to figure out what good card you're gonna cut from your robot deck. Anyway. Robot deck. Okay, so I don't care about this one anymore. Um, Is there another version of this that's even better? <laughs> what do you? Because that would I be have? nice to see. No, there's no version of this that's better. Um, so one thing that, I mean, okay, beyond getting the interaction between Thoughtseize and Meddling Mage, you also get the Thoughtseize Mental Misstep interaction, which is pretty strong. Yeah, that's true. Countering a Brainstorm. Well, now, uh, you know who becomes better, uh, so why can't I think of his name? Snapcaster. With Thoughtseize. Yeah. Um, like, I feel like this is already a better deck. I cut the spell stutters. <laughs> this is really like a spell stutter experiment. Yeah, well, now I'm just trying to make a good deck. Um, if you really just want to beat Affinity, I think you can just run Energy Flux now. Yeah, that makes sense. They can only answer that with Tolarian Academy, and even still they have trouble. Um... I wonder if this deck is... The mana base needs to be switched again. But, uh, that's well, fine. yeah, you don't need to worry about that at the moment. Yeah, agreed. You just need a total number of lands. Uh, I think the number is right. It's 21. Maybe you want to run another one. There's mana crypt and a soul ring. You have too many snapcasters. I still only play oh one god, or two. Oh my god, there are three? I actually didn't even mean to do that. Um, so, like, do you play any number of swords in the main? Or just in the board? Now that there are two Snapcasters, Swords is a bit better, isn't it? Um, yeah, let's run the Gold Border one. <laughs> you run, like, one on the board. The the issue that you kind of get in with Snapcaster... I don't even think Hercules Recall is very good. Like, it's just a lot of mana to Snapcast a Thoughtseize. And then, the, I guess, though, the decks that Mental Misstep is good against, like, you probably are fine being able to snap it. Yeah, I think so, too. That's my impression. This gives you another source of, like, card advantage and uh, some late-game goods with Trinket Mage. Like, Stormscape Apprentice is not as good in this deck. 
I'm not even sure if you want three. Yeah, I don't think you can afford to play many because you never want to draw two. I guess you can tap like two things. Against Oath, you want to be able to tap two things. But <laughs> you never get ahead though, because it's like your two apprentices are a tapping or tapping their stuff, and then you're like, Well, am I gonna play a third guy and let them oath up the third creature? <laughs> Like what else? What else goes in here? Like we want. I want to play another guy. I think. No, we've got another sideboard slot. Um. Probably about, a like, fairy conclave. Are there <laughs> any two drops that are? And you can run like a Yixlet in the main. It's not very exciting though. Um, Pains here in the main. Uh, Cat Wizards. Wizard. Uh, how about that guy? All these are so bad. That art. <laughs> oh, man. Maybe this guy's good. Probably not. All right. Maybe when you I just play myself, another Phyrexian Revoker. Say, yeah, I mean, that, that's probably the way to go. When I'm by myself, I'm much more apt to say the cards are bad. When I've got you here to do it, I can really turn myself loose and turn into a crazy person. I think it's because you like trolling people. That's true. Um, and you had a drink or... I think this is the sort of outfit that I like in a lady. Like for looks a like an costume. Looks like an Innistrad block art, which... Whoa, we could be playing <laughs> Deepwater Hypnotist in our wizard deck. We could be. You never know when you want to give a dude neg 3 neg o during your turn. What about <laughs> this guy? <laughs> I miss Kamigawa block wizards. Oh, man. Um, this guy's like, this guy, this is actually how CNN made that hologram of Dana Bash during the 2004 oh, elections. That, that was so embarrassing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like Princess Leia. They used Minamo Sightbender. Um, wow, look at these guys. Look at that Minotaur, or that Noggle. I don't even know I wonder what it is. I wonder if Silver, or Silver Gildowser is modern playable. Why would that be the case? Because that there's already a Merfolk deck. And you think reducing a guy's power? Yeah, you can just t attack in with all your dudes, and whatever one they block, you're just like, well, that guy will live because your guy has no power now. I mean, that could be the case. Wait, you have to reveal a Merfolk here? You can't do a Merfolk or a Wizard? Not that good, AJ. For what, about this, what about this guy? Yeah, all the people that are playing your decks with the shape shares. This is really good sideboard tech. <laughs> Mana ramp. All right. Um, so I think that you have. <laughs> oh, this the... key is bright. Oh, look, this guy can go in wizards and artificers. Yeah, I know. I've definitely looked at him. So I think that you have like 54. Yeah, I don't buy a bunch of promos. Spells that are sprites because I think they're like a couple bucks a piece. Don't just worry. because you like the artwork. Um, God, anyway. Some of these cards are bad. So AJ, let's focus. Let's yeah, 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 yeah. Focus. I I think that you have pretty close to a deck here. It's probably like a couple spells off, maybe like five. That seem that's like uh what is that? That's one twelfth. That's like eight percent off. That's like a B plus we're talking about. Is it a Harvard B plus? Mm. No. Okay, so I'm not sold on the the skull clamp actually. What about the top? I I guess skull that makes trinket mages and medley mages better. Oh, because they can do more damage, and then if they die. Yeah, I like. I think it's worth running one. Um. I could see the sideboard like playing more pithing needles or. Well, I don't really care about the sideboard at all right okay, now. Okay, that's fine. Because if you don't have a main deck, then there's no sideboard to build. I just had a hiccup. There we go. All right, so should I move on to another one and we come back to this one later? <sighs> this has been like 20 minutes. This guy looks like he has the hairstyle of someone on Game of Thrones. <laughs> So that's called a Skullet. Um, what other <laughs> decks do you have? All right. So there's this one. Um, this is where they're really going to be fun. Mm -hmm. 
Do you know who this is? Spell Sutter Sprite? No, it's a member of the Vendillion Click. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how do you know that? Marilyn sent Visa, Endry, and Ilona. The Vendillion Click on the gravest <laughs> of tasks. Well, I'm glad that they told us it was the Vendillion Click. Yes, yeah, so what do you think about this combo? Eh? Huh? Fracturing Gust? How sick to your stomach are you? How do you like this combo, though? Look, you want your Engineer Explosives back? Just find a Leon and Squire. I think that you can probably play one Leon and Squire. Okay. <laughs> Maybe you should just play zero Leon and Squires. Are you sure? And, play, and instead play an Eternal Witness. Oh my god. But that costs so much mana. It costs one more mana if you can cast it. Um, yeah, but if you can cast a Maryland. Cat. Okay, well, I know that you're really into tribal decks. Yeah. Cats. Yeah, but elf Cat, wizard, cat. so. Yeah, wizard. Wizard. Um, cat, wizard. cat, wizard, wizard, cat, cat. It's an elf wizard's human. Okay, fuck it. Eternal okay, witness. so demonic consultation is terrible in this deck. Why? I'll tell you why, AJ. Because you're playing a deck with one ofs. So, right, but you only ever want to look for Lean and Arbiter, Aven Mind Sensor, or Marilyn. Yeah, but then you or lose your Mar Oh, so your idea is that the cons or the consultation just sets up the Marilyn yeah. lock? Yeah. So what do you do? You consult for an Arbiter, play an Arbiter, play Marilyn, and then... Your opponent loses. Oh, uh, they can pay two and search their deck. Yeah, and then they can't do anything that first turn. So then what do you do? You search your deck at that point, and what do you get? Uh, face shield. Or... Um, Thrawn Dynamo. No, that's not what you're looking for. No, what am I thinking of? Thrawn Engine? <laughs> what the fuck Thrawn. am I thinking of? Um, the Viachina, what, when, the, when, when Urza asked the Viachina what it did, they replied, it hums. The mana rig? <laughs> what the fuck is it called? <laughs> Just... <laughs> um, I can't switch because I'm worried Fraps will freak out. The the life? Um, the one that shuffles no, the no. graveyard? Um, Thrawn Tome definitely is not the hump. upkeep. This adds two mana. S stabilizer? Thrawn. Fuck. Oh, the thing that you can only cycle. No, it adds two mana. No, I'm not talking about Fluctuator. No, no, I know you're talking. Thran um, Turbine. Yeah! <laughs> wait, what does this do? <laughs> yeah. No, wait. You can't spend this mana. Right. This is great. So what you're you going. You pay off your Arbiter every turn. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I can't believe you remember this card exists. It's a cog, so I, or it's a it's a trinket, so I always think about this. It's pretty good at pack rat, I guess. This is pretty terrible. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> look at the art though. It looks like a giant Optimus Prime hand. Uh, I good it. news. I'm out of food to eat. Okay, well that's good. Now you can give full attention to a deck running Elad Omri's call. I mean, like, is Spell Sky just better than Faith Shield? Mm. Maybe. I mean, like, the real question is, do you really want to run four of these, four of these? The card they probably look for is Caracas. <laughs> <laughs> and then you don't get to search. Well, get and then they have a Caracas. <laughs> That seems pretty bad by itself. Like maybe maybe then you have to run uh, Sabo's web. Maybe the oh, we should my go. Ears. Who's this in the top right? Is that Karn? Um, Volrath? No. It's not Krovax, is it? I don't think so. Holy fuck! <laughs> <laughs> you just. 
spill liquid? I didn't, but, but I almost fell. And something that had a lot of liquid in it almost fell. Okay, so we have Sabo. Who's the guy with the Tom Selleck mustache? That's Gerard. Uh, no, in the other corner. And he's got a top knot. Are we talking about the same person? No, the bottom corner. This doesn't have a mustache. That's Hannah. Are you sure there's not like a, a line think... mustache right on top <laughs> of the lip? I know you think that that looks like a guy. But that's that's Hannah. I think. Just, just with a crease? Hannah isn't spelled with a H, apparently. Well... Uh, I don't Maybe know. Maybe we should look Hannah. at Factor Fiction. I think that she's prominent on the Factor Fiction art from Invasion. Why would you put Squee in charge of this? Squee, have you determined which is fact and which is fiction? <laughs> <laughs> oh, squiggly lines make no sense. <laughs> and he's just like wiping his ass with both of them. <laughs> is there like another art for this? Oh yeah, this card. What the hell? I get it. He's putting like three balls in the trash and two in his hand. But I don't oh, know. Oh man, that's really tacky. This looks so like this... The, the fucking yellow king. Anyway. So this deck, I guess what you really want to do is play a mind sensor and then a Maryland. I don't really think that Arbiter does what you want to do. I guess if you can turn to a Maryland, that's pretty good. Mm, not really. I mean, most decks have a two-mana answer for creatures. Yeah, but I'm saying, let's say you go first and you play your Hierarch. Then they go, they play their land, then you play your Marilyn. Okay. Oh, then they search for their Caracas or their yeah. swords. That's fucking terrible. Okay, what other decks do you have? This deck sucks. I'm it, The problem is that this card is just bad, unless yeah. every other deck is worse. <laughs> no, this, That's like the this... gamble you're playing. <laughs> <laughs> this card is terrible unless every other deck can't deal with other decks. <laughs> Which is, I mean, the worst part is, like, if you're playing against Storm and you drop this, then they probably are able to Storm off. <laughs> uh, actually, no, because players can't draw cards. Like, the thing is... So the then they just get not... Ad Nauseum, and then they're like, okay, well, I'll take my entire deck from Ad Nauseum. Probably not in Classic. I don't think they would notice that Ad Nauseum gets around, around that. <laughs> Okay, let's go on to the next deck. Uh, I'm kind of embarrassed to talk about this one. <laughs> Are these the decks that you made videos by yourself last night with? Yeah, I decided that it wasn't content that I should post on MTGO Academy, so I posted on our own YouTube channel. That's smart. Yeah. So, my theory is that this card is so good that whenever you draw it, you probably win. Okay. And to make that theory become reality, you're going to play Gilder Baron. To, to make that theory become reality, you have to play a card that's fair and doesn't do anything. And so that's why I'm playing this. Because this, like, androgynous, like, crotch creature. I can't tell. Is this thing wearing a costume, or does it just look like that? This is some of the most interesting misunderstood magic artwork that there is. Is he going trick-or-treating? I'm pretty sure I, like I saw the... this character on Ah! Real Monsters. But there wasn't I think that he's, take... <laughs> he's taking the gems out of his little trick-or-treat bucket and then hiding them in the dark, but they glow. He didn't hide this one very well. He just put it right on top of that turtle. He's not too smart. That's why he is in this deck. <laughs> the only people who'd ever played this card are people who didn't understand why they were playing it. <laughs> There's Teferi here. This guy seems to know what he's doing. Um, so, I originally tried some other Planeswalkers, but none of them were any good. Okay, so, the idea is you go Kiora plus one, and then you Gilder Baron it the next turn, and minus five. Yeah, the, uh, the only other problem is if you're in a Tangle Wire lock with your opponent, Kiora's ultimate doesn't even do anything. 
Uh, except for every turn you get a 9-9 creature, so... It ends up getting tapped down to your Tangle Wire. Yeah, but every turn you get a 9-9 creature, so eventually you have enough Krakens that you can start attacking. I guess I like that, but this works a little better. You're just like, plus two, Gilder Baron, now Go it's to got ten. ten counters, yeah, whatever. Uh, and then, this seems like a Factor Fiction deck to me. No, no, actually it's, you go Jace, plus two, untap, plus two, Gilder Baron win. Yeah. That's kind of no, sexy. No, 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 you can't do that, because I just did two Jace activations in one turn. Plus Damn. two, plus two, so now it's yeah, so seven. You need, you need Gilder Baron turns. minus 12. Yeah. But you have to use Jace three turns in a row. Correct, which isn't very good. means you've already won. Um, the other problem is you want to run more mana guys, I think. But I, I originally had Joraga Tree Speaker in this. But it just I don't seemed know. terrible, because you can't even ramp into either of these cards. Excuse me. Um, Excuse I don't me, know if but mana... this deck is terrible. <laughs> yeah, AJ, I appreciate that you're thinking outside of the box, but maybe we should just be making... Uh, um, a Varol's Phyrexian Dreadnought Necrotic Ooze survival deck. I did kind of like that, but I thought it was too many ideas pulled into one. Well, yeah, that that deck didn't focus in enough to to make the artwork that you and I are looking for. But this deck just focused on something bad. What about Parallax Tide, though? Don't you, don't you want to exile lands? I do. Um, <laughs> I'm just trying to think of ways that that card is playable. It's probably just worse than land equilibrium. Or mana vortex. Mana vortex is my favorite. Look at the art on this. This was clearly going to be the art on, like... I don't even know. It's not Some clearly the art land. anything. Like snow-covered <laughs> volcanic island or something. Snow-covered vol volcanic taiga. I don't even know. And then they're like, you know what? Making lands that produce three colors of mana is just way too powerful. Yeah. I don't even like Kiora. I would rather it be a fourth Jace. I mean, assuming that this deck would be playable. Which well, I AJ, assume. congratulations. You've made me very depressed before I have to do a lot of work. Also, oh, so... I'm excited really, about what you're going to say. I really need to knock down this wasp nest. You know, remember when I told you that I poisoned myself earlier this week? <laughs> yeah. Well, the net, or the little hive cluster is still hanging up at the top of um, the garage, so I have to knock it down. You have to cut it all off or the body will heal itself. So there's a good chance that I'm going to get stung right now, and I don't know if I want to go travel. But you're doing it tonight? You're knocking off a wasp nest tonight? Well, what if I leave it up there and then they all, or like an, another wasp finds it and moves to it? Do you think that's how it works? I mean, I don't know. I, I, that wasn't that wasn't supposed to be sarcastic. You know, I'll just leave it up there and then poison myself again. This guy looks like he's been at the gym. Oh, I'm just saying. I'm I like sure it when the art of magic cards reference other magic cards, like like spells. this one. Yeah. Yeah. Referencing Watchwolf or not that one. <laughs> Draga tree speaker. Or this one represents the troll aesthetic. Yeah. Or the. Uh... Wait, is there a real cog in Trinket Mage? Why is Dungrove Elder in this deck? I uh, when I was building this yesterday, I accidentally came across this and thought to myself, "That oh, artwork yeah. is awesome." Well, I thought that too, but I also thought, "Oh yeah, mono green and classic, <laughs> green pod." This reminds me of the Doran deck that we had. I'm pretty sure it had Meddling Mage in it in Dungrove Elders. That was a deck that also looked like a work of art. 
Yeah, it was I, uh, Dungrove Elders, uh, Treefold Carbingers. It was for Modern, right? Right after the format's birth. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it couldn't beat Project Malira, which was just Malira Pod. Yeah, uh, Doran. Who else was in it? Tree Speaker, Hierarch, uh, but it was a Green Sun Zenith deck before they banned it. Mm-hmm. I don't think they needed to ban that card. Uh, I think they probably couldn't have it and Dryad Arbor in the same format. You think that that was just too powerful? I think that the utility of being able to hit a mana... To be able to play um, a mana... A mana guy turn one mana dork, also, like, a that bunch could, of shit later that, in the Yeah, game. that could be a real card after turn one. Yeah. was too powerful. It was like a land or elf with a kicker. Yeah, and you'd be like, I'm going to kick it up to a Tarmogoy. For, like, for three mana. Okay, that's yeah. fair. That makes sense. You could also look for a Gilder Baron with it. I know. That's that's really the tragedy of, of everything. You know why what else? Why couldn't they make this guy cost two mana? Or why couldn't <laughs> they have made him like a two, three? I don't understand. I don't even know if he'd be playable if he was a 1-5. <laughs> Would he be playable if he cost blue-blue? Yes, I yes. think so. But maybe not his ability being so expensive. That's really expensive for an ability. I agree. The three mana is... Oh, I forgot that this stupid thing has to be tapped to use it. Oh my god. That card's so terrible. No, no, look. Oh, look, you got a combo with one other card in the deck. <laughs> no, it also combos with a... Uh, Wait, AJ, stop, stop it. Let's put... Ah, oh, what is the card called? Colony Hydra? Shh. Colonian Hydra? No. Oh, come on, Chris. It's got Transmute. It's a wall. Two and a blue. Uh, uh, something of Drift of Phantasms? Yeah, Drift of Phantasms. Let's put that in the stack so that you can... That sounds terrible. Your... What are you, stupid? <laughs> Don't you want to attack? Oh my god, I just realized something. You can't even pump the counter <laughs> on Miscutter Hydra. <laughs> I think this is a good point. To uh, end. My penis literally became more flaccid than it already was. Alright. Well, I'll turn this off for now. I'll try to play games with one of these decks in the tournament practice room. Bye, Chris. <laughs> Maybe you can convince Scott to waste 20 minutes of his life. Last time, he goes, I just came up. This was the best conversation I had with Scott. We're talking about Enderfall. I sent him a message. I was like, hey, do you want to test Classic? And I was getting ready to test a red, white, blue Artificer's deck. And he goes, I just realized that Goblin Welder and, uh, and Stoneforge Mystic were both Artificers. <laughs> and I was like... LOL, 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 accept challenge. <laughs> and then I played him with the deck that ran both those cards. Uh, I think that deck might be better than all of the decks that we just looked at. That Maybe deck not. That was fucking terrible. Maybe Wizards is better. Wizards is clearly the best deck out of these I've played. Or put together. What? Well, here's the red, white, blue artifice. What about Elementals? Did we ever... I removed that from the rotation just because it was too depressing. Oh, I feel like Elementals is so close. Really? It's always sitting right here waiting for us. Time Elemental. Oh yeah, that's right. We didn't we didn't figure it out. We decided that it looked terrible. <laughs> I was really excited, but then I realized that we have Time Elemental in the deck and that card hey, can't. Hey, don't it. worry. I'll just um do we have all these cards on our account? We probably are missing a time elemental. And maybe maybe some incandescent soul stokes. Are you serious? I, uh, I don't think we're missing that. I think I've gone out of my way to purchase those. Well, they could be left over from that block, because I remember trying to play elementals in block again and again and again. Maybe this deck wants Spell Sky 2. And Rubble Arc of Spell Sky. What the hell is going on with this art, by the way? I feel like somebody typed into a computer. Computer? Please make art for something abstract that reminds me of a dove harvesting grain. Photoshop. Uh, yeah, this is what came out of the pick, machine. <laughs> pick this line and make symmetry with this Lisa Franklin art. And this was art left over from Kamigawa block. 
Maybe this was, too. Never know when your horse is going to have, like, creepy finger claws under it that need to be trimmed. I, do you think some of the artists that had to draw the elementals or the spirits from Kamigawa after that commission vowed to never work for wizards again? I don't know. It's possible. Like, I have to say, the thing that upsets me the most about the elementals from Lorwyn Shadowmoor is that... So they um, just look like... People. Or, <laughs> though there's the one with the fire heads. What were we talking about? Something else looked like people, and it made you really mad. Fire heads? Yeah, all of the elementals. Look, they've got the little flamekin heads. I hate the flamekin heads. I hate these. But then there's like the primal elementals that look like animals. Also from Lorwyn Block. Like, this looks yeah. cool. I mean, like, uh... <laughs> forgot about that for a minute. Dino baby. <laughs> This thing looks like it has a vagina on its side. Um, look at this I like guy. how you have one mental mist up in your sideboard. You told me to put it there. Where the fuck did that other card go? You what did <laughs> Shriek Maw. I accidentally made Shriek Maw go away. Alright, Animar should be not in this deck. Alright, so this is the deck I'm going to be testing out in the tournament practice room. Okay, good luck, man.